okay, compadres? It's All Hallows' Eve, and time for a tasty turtle treat in the form of a new Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. Master Splinter has always emphasized the importance of the art of invisibility when it comes to the Fab Four's ninjutsu training, but it kind of seems like Mikey took it a little too literally. He's the hard-seen hero in a half-shell, the invisible man Michelangelo. There's a reason the guys normally leave the lab stuff to Don, as on his file card, turning invisible is a result of Mike's screwy science experimenting. Like the other Universal Studios Monsters Turtles, Invisible Man Michelangelo is just a novelty figure, rather than being a true part of TMNT continuity. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, I thought we were going to see a Michelangelo figure. What's with this suit with a missing foot, hand, and head? Upon closer inspection, you'll see it's Mike, all right. That floating orange eye mask should be a dead giveaway. Although if you need more proof, check out his elbow pads, knee pads, and belt with the letter M on the buckle. The translucent body parts are a big factor in what really makes the Invisible Man Michelangelo figure. As is usually the case with the first Playmates TMNT line, there is detail aplenty in his superb sculpt. The Invisible Man Michelangelo wears a blue suit with white shirt and red tie with purple polka dots. While you've got the invisible body parts on his left side, on his right, Mike is wearing a white glove on his hand and a black and brown shoe with white spat on his foot. Over all of this, Invisible Man Michelangelo dons a darker blue overcoat, which is another point at which I really must emphasize the uniqueness in his sculpt. Playmates could have skimped on a lot of detail here, but on the back of the coat you actually have wrinkles and the outline of Mikey's shell. On the less unique side, there's nothing really original about Invisible Man Michelangelo's articulation, as he has the standard seven points. He can move at his neck, shoulders, right elbow, left wrist, and hips. Standing him up is no more or less difficult than most vintage TMNT figures either. My Invisible Man Michelangelo comes with yellow accessories, which include his cool disappearing chemistry kit. The kit is a single piece small board with bizarre beakers and bottles on it, as well as a place for you to put his mutant pizza sauce mixture. Staying with the lab theme, Invisible Man Michelangelo swings his test tube nunchakus. After all, you knew a Mikey figure was gonna come with chucks. However, the most awesome item accompanying him is his bandage mask with goon goggles. In the original Invisible Man movie, Dr. Jack Griffin spent the majority of the film beneath bandages so that he could remain visible despite his see-through state of body. If Mike wants to be seen and recognized, he can attach the two-part bandage mask on the front and back of his head. The back even has a slot for the tails of his eye mask, which now serve as the tails of his goon goggles. There is a fourth figure of the second Universal Studios Monsters Turtles series, that being Bride of Frankenstein April. Ms. O'Neil got the nod for a figure over Donatello this time around. However, for anyone unaware, we took a look at her way back in Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk number 22 as a part of the month-long celebration of April O'Neil. So she has not been forgotten. She was simply ahead of her time. So what's your view, or lack thereof, on Invisible Man Michelangelo? How about the rest of the Universal Studios Monster Turtles? First wave? Second wave? Both? Neither? Well, if you want to make your voice heard, or catch that old review of Bride of Frankenstein April, the best thing to do is visit www.radicalretro.com and join us on the Pop Culture Network forums. Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk is of course a part of the Pop Culture Network, which is the net's gnarliest nook for toys, comics, wrestling, and all your other nerdy necessities. Speaking of nerdy necessities, you'll find plenty of those at Pop Culture Network's official web store, 
www.shoppcn.com. Make sure you swing by for a look, as it's the number one way to show your Pop Culture Network support. That'll do it for the Universal Studios Monsters Turtles, but it's far from the end of the line for Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. Have a happy Halloween, and as always, stay rad.